that is a sound effect. Bum -ba -dum, bum -ba -dum, ah. I hope I don't get D DMCA, DCMA. I saw people have a kill switch for their audio, and I realized that I have the option of doing that, but I don't know that I want to. I mean, I probably should. Uh, it's not very often I run into situations, though, so <laughs> I have to worry about that. How are you going to find that statue and all this junk? How indeed. Statue? Urn? Statue? Uh, what statue am I even looking for? A gargoyle? It's a medieval gargoyle. Or a good imitation. I wonder if what's his face did the audio for this. Chest. Marcus still thinks this chest belonged to Columbus. Hmm. I was asked the uh, Uncharted guy. It's a copy of an Egyptian statue of Horus. <laughs> yeah, I think um, Chaos deals with that as well when he speed runs. Uh, Wild Arms 5, I think. It's some kind of funeral art. It's a stone carving of Shiva. Shiva of obviously Final Fantasy fame? Oh, dang it. Oof. Oof. Uh. <laughs> Already dead. <laughs> I'm alive. Big crate, totem pole, arrowhead. It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. Very sharp. Looks like textiles from the Shamit collection. Mm -hmm. Marcus thought Potlatch Indians carved this. Looks like a movie prop to me. What, what class would, what job would Claude play as if he played Final Fantasy XIV? Looks like beadwork from the Phoenix Collection. The label says unidentified pot shirts. I feel like I asked that question before because your answer was not surprising. I've been leveling Black Mage recently so I can get um, gear for Blue Mage. <laughs> The most knowledge I have about Indiana Jones, I think I saw one of the movies. The most knowledge I have of Indiana Jones actually comes from UHF. I think I've read them all. So, uh. It's an old lecture hall desk. I think that's the one I've seen. The one with Shia LaBeau. Whatever his name is. Shia LaBeouf. But these books don't look familiar. Over oh, hunter. Oh. oh, I'm dead. <laughs> what, what meme is this? <laughs> you better get that roof uh. checked. times are we gonna fall there's nowhere on the floor anywhere on here that I could possibly fall an invitation of fast cat god is a fertility I can't remember I think I watched you play a little bit of that Claude and I can't remember if that was the game with all the stupid doors or if that was me playing quack shot <laughs> It's 
It's a book ready to fall. It's a book ready to fall. How do I access my inventory? Looks pretty slippery. Looks pretty slippery. It's a book ready to fall. Uh, go, Dougie. What should you eat? Um, cows? Chomsky? <laughs> How do I whip? How do I whip stuff? It's a book ready to fall. Uh, Indiana Jones. In Indiana Jones. State of Atlantis. But buttons. What I'm looking for hotkeys. Look at L U L E. It's a book ready to fall. There are nine verbs available to you for you to use in this game. <laughs> See, Claude. That was kind of my guess because I could escape past all this originally. <laughs> Looks pretty slippery. How do I get over there? Marty stuck. Some help from chat. It's a book ready to fall. Eat the oldest edible thing in your freezer. Hmm. <laughs> Pop me all I know. How to use Google? Oh god, that was real. <laughs> Nobody told me this would be a horror game. <laughs> Wasn't ready for this. <laughs> when am I allowed to play horror point and click games? For trivia? It's hot. It's hot. A fine sample of bitumen. <laughs> Can't play Claw Tower. I've been searching for. Strange looking thing. I wonder where Marcus picked it up. I'm just gonna go right out the front door. <laughs> Nothing to see here.
That's a good question, Amy. I'm back. Indy? You don't look at all bad, Dr. Jones. Exploring our collections can be dangerous, Mr. Uh, what was your name again? Smith. Tell me, did you find a lock to match my key? You bet I did. Take a look. This guy looks suspicious. What are you waiting for? Let's open it. Why not? It's an obvious fake. You may think so, Doctor, but I believe we are opening a new chapter in history. <laughs> My word, Indy, a small metal bead. Jewelry, perhaps? I still think it's a fake. Then you won't mind if I take it. Really, Mr. Smith. Stand back, gentlemen. I hope you've got a getaway car waiting. You'll need one. Hmm. What is this? I just tackled that guy. <laughs> And now it can stay warm. Hey, what's this? Klaus Kerner, huh? Mm. Good lord, Indy. The man's some sort of agent from the Third Reich. Wait, I always thought what that was Reach. What is the one from the Buddhist statue? <sighs> I lied, Marcus. I don't think it's a phony. I can't place the style, but it's old. Look what else our friend was carrying. Um, An old copy of National Archaeology, and there you are in Austin. Probably? Oyster. Yeah, field supervisor for the Jastro expedition. My first real job. Who's the woman? Sophia Hapgood. She was my assistant. A spoiled rich kid from Boston, rebelling against her family. You found his blog. She, she gave up archaeology to uh, How long ago is it? How odd. How long ago is that updated? Indeed. Or is he giving up on Apple? You. What if he finds her? We should warn the woman. You're right. I want to know more about that statue. You know, Marcus, the coldest year of my life was the one I spent in Iceland with Sophia. Really? <laughs> Are you sure it's not his Twitter account? <laughs> That's, um... I no longer believe. I'm also rewatching X-Files. <laughs> that just sounds creepy. It just sounds crazy. Uh, look at... This was taken a long while ago, when I thought we might like each other. Hmm. Forgot this girl's name. Hello there. Hello there. The show sold out, sir. Now wait a minute. Now hold on. Now wait a hold on. <laughs> No standing room, no exception. I see. It's today's paper. It's today's paper. I can't make a call. I'm out of nickels. Nickels? <laughs> Holy cow. What even is a phone booth? Got a 20th century thing. Hmm, it's unlocked. What do you want, pal? This ain't no ticket office. <laughs> I'm the fire inspector, obviously. I'm the fire inspector. What do you take me for, a moron? 
Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What now, buddy? <laughs> I'm with a band. Madam Sophia doesn't have a band. That actually works sometimes. Wait a minute. What now, buddy? Let me in, you Darwinian nightmare. Was that an insult? Well, what do you think? I think I'm tired of fancy Dan College boys who use big voice, and I think you'd better apologize. Uh, Claude was saying that Pi has streamed this sort of recently, I think. So, might be where you've seen this exact change. Oh, me neither. <laughs> I, uh, lost all my channel points. Like everyone else in chat. Why should I, you fat tub of lard? That's it, white guy. Put up your. Oh, what the heck? How does this work? I am not winning. <laughs> Just keep going. Give him, give him the old one too. Don't let him have a chance to, to attack back. Ah, ha, ha. I died. Heck. <laughs> Phew, lucky that wasn't a Nazi spy or I'd be dead. Here I go again. <laughs> Thank you, Seawalker. Excuse me, sorry to bother you. <laughs> Wait, I want to be him up. Didn't work. Hmm. I want a rematch. Third time's the charm. I've got nothing to say to you. Wait, I'm sorry I offended you. Oh, in that case, what do you want? <laughs> Let me in, you Darwinian nightmare. It's not too late to apologize, Buster. Can't apologize to a vegetable. You can't apologize to a vegetable. Now you've done it. <laughs> Go ham. Go ham. Screw attack power. Quite the exchange. <laughs> Heck yeah, easy every time. The bigger they are, well, you know. <laughs> Can I inspect the guy? Oh. <laughs> I can't wait for the speed run. I've seen this screen before. Hold on! You must be the new doorman. Yeah. Not time to get rid of Biff. He was such a pushover. I I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> what is the point so far? I want a reading with Miss Hapgood. Are you crazy? During the show? Write a letter. Hold on. Uh. You can't go out there. Think it easy and watch the show. Here, my friends, is Atlantis. As it might have appeared in the a dog? Day. Glorious, prosperous, socially and technically advanced. Is this the girl? From the, uh, the, the photo? Beyond our wildest dreams. 5,000 years ago, while everyone else still wore animal skins. You're still wearing animal skins. Or vegetable skins. To build a city where knowledge and power were united in true happiness. Centuries later, the famous philosopher Plato wrote about it. He placed Atlantis on a continent out in the deep ocean. 
and described how it was divided into three circular parts, such as you see here. Hmm. Isn't she something? She can go on for hours. Ah, uh, yes. Hold on! She's just coming to the exciting part. What befell the serene city? We may never know for sure. Was it the sea level slowly creeping higher, or the Earth? They took off into space. Shifting. However, it I'm ready to choose your own adventure book about this. Grip the citizens on that fateful day when proud Atlantis sank beneath the waves. Or, or perhaps it was a volcanic eruption, and something remains even now. Or, on some questions. The great spirit who guides my thoughts. The all-seeing Nurab Sal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I've been through this a hundred times. The woman never stops. Uh, what? Hold on! Hold on! She's still talking. Oh. Oh. Hey! She's still talking. Walking. Alright. Central Station, please. All right. <laughs> uh, this doesn't feel right. <laughs> but here we are. It says, Edward Teller, phone home. E.T. phone home. I get it. <laughs> uh, it says, we'll trade K&E slide rule for FADA radio. I don't get that one. <laughs> I only know about E.T. I don't play Monster Hunter, but I did see Monster Hunter stories trailer, and they looked pretty good. I am... Uh, I only know about E.T. because of uh, Meg64 and uh, Chris Dane Owens. It says, <laughs> movie tonight, the 39 steps. Chris Dane Owens' music videos were done by the same guy that did the uh, um, special effects for E.T. <laughs> And I only know Chris Ain't Owns because of Meg 64. <laughs> Damn, it's smalls. Uh... The stairway is closed for repairs. Demon Smalls, what can it you tell me about Ma Monster Hunter stories? Ride share to World's Fair. It says. We'll trade K&E slide rule for FADA radio. I don't get it. Yeah, stories. Yeah, I got one right here. I don't have one right here. <laughs> Empty ticket booth. There's nobody to talk to. Does that mean I can just walk right in? They're locked. Uh oh. I watched the trailer for Monster Hunter Stories 2, and the trailer looked really good. I didn't know what kind of game it was. Hey! 
Hey, she's still talking. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? <laughs> You're fired. You look tired. Wouldn't you like to call it a day? Nah, sooner or later I get to run the ghost out there. That's always a big moment. Hmm. Excuse me. Mobile stores. Yeah, what now? Mobile. Uh, speaking of mobile, somebody was in here yesterday, I think it was, asking about something Eden. What was it? The Eden game? The Chrono Cross game? <laughs> I forgot who it was, though. Madam told me to tell you you're fired. What? You can't fire me. Oh no? Take a look at my union card. Stop pestering me and watch the show, will ya? <laughs> can't cross time and space. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? You know, this lecture bores me stiff. Me too, to tell you the truth. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? I guess we should watch the show. I guess so. Excuse me. Yeah, what now? Isn't there something you'd rather be doing? Like what? Show business is my whole life! Hmm. Don't you have any hobbies? Sure, I read. What if I give you something to read? I might take a look. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, what now? Don't you ever get bored? She does rattle on, but I've got a job to do. Uh... Here. No thanks. I read it years ago. I still got my own copy. Oh. I have an idea then. Sometimes, sometimes it does, Amy. Here. Well, well, the late edition. I wonder if the Dodgers won. Watch the lights while I find out, okay? Now, here we go. Thought I was gonna pick up the phone booth. All right. It's a lever. It's a lever. It's a lever. It's a lever. All right, we're going to pull the middle lever. It won't go any further in that direction. We're gonna push the middle lever. Pull the left lever. It won't go any further in that direction. We'll push the left lever. Push the right lever. <laughs> uh... Pull the middle lever. Ah. Uh... Pull the left lever. It won't go any further in that direction.
been a month. Thinking cat. Hold on! I still got my eye on you. Hmm. Call the LucasArts game hotline. <laughs> Get in the tower. I'm going out. Please tell me what to do. There it goes. And I still feel the presence of Atlantis through. Uh. <laughs> May I present Nurab Sal, the great Atlantean god of. of. deceit. Deceit! <laughs> Indiana Jones! You've got some nerve! <laughs> back, you big jack-o'-lantern! Oh, great. Good night, folks. Come on, mister. I've got a few words to mince with you. <laughs> I'd say it's about time. <laughs> oh, no! Did I ruin or improve? Like got here first. I improved everything. Stay put. <laughs> Stay put. <laughs> no one here. Nor here either. Hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, you just like. Doctor Uberman, fantastic news. We found That's not his name. <laughs> That's the second time Kerner slipped away. What does a Nazi spy want with old statues? Have you seen <laughs> he has his coat back? Listen to this. Germans claim victory in worldwide race to smash the uranium atom. Mm. Chief scientist Dr. Hans Uberman announces plan to harness new sources of energy for the Third Reich. So? I always thought it was reach. I've learned a lot today. <laughs> Mostly that I don't know any German words. They'll never find enough uranium. Of course not. That's why they're looking for the power of Atlantis. Oh. I used to think you'd make a good scientist. Yet you've been concealing important artifacts. Artifacts such as archaeology has never seen. Hmm. Hmm. You're lucky I don't have you arrested. So what if I kept a few pieces for myself? Look for a small coppery bead under those clippings in my desk. <laughs> what do you know? Uh, these animations are 10 out of 10. What? My necklace. Watch closely. The bead is made of auric calcum, the mystery metal first mentioned by Plato. Now I'll place it in the medallion's mouth. Oh my god. <laughs> Funny because... Kirk Hughes, first thing he said was Sylvan. Silvan. <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah, creepy. <clears throat> Is your electric bill paid up? That was Nurab Sal. His spirit is close. <laughs> Nurha what? Suppose I gave this aura calcum business any credence, which I don't.
We have no idea where to find your mythical lost city. Shh. I'm getting something. Narab Sal speaks. He bids us find the... What? Oh, a book, yes. The Lost Dialogue of Plato. Another <laughs> I keep in my head. I just keep comparing this to uh, the Uncharted stuff, uh, and I'm thinking, what would Nathan Drake say in this situation? It's not in any library I've ever been in. What if the Nazis have already found a copy? You ever think of that? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> what were these pieces doing in Iceland, I wonder? Survivors must have sailed there after the great catastrophe. Any port in a storm, huh? Who's working there these days? Bjorn Heimdall, I believe. Maybe we should pay him a visit. What do you say? <coughs> I thought you'd never ask. Get all these questions from long ago. Stored in the depths of Claw's memory. <laughs> He's like, oh, that's what that was for. Uh, Chaos, I had a dream earlier. <laughs> that I was doing sandwich puns with somebody and they died. <laughs> from my sandwich buns. It was like, um, I said we were really in a sandwich. I said that was, yeah, it's quite the pickle. If only we, I know, and then they started laughing. I said, yeah, that was kind of cheese. I don't remember the whole thing. Anyways, it, it, like the puns went on and on and on and on. A little about ketchup and mayo. <laughs> we haven't even gotten to the meat of the problem. I just remember going on. It was it was a dream. Like the entire dream is just nothing but sandwich puns. All right, what are we doing here? Uh, truck encampment. No. Then I woke up. It looks like someone's still living here. It's me, I'm living here. Uh, open. It doesn't seem to open. I don't think that'll work. Hmm. Sophia. Yes? What do we do now? Let's look for Heimdall. Hmm. Remember this place? The Jastro expedition. How could I forget? Cold enough for you? Even colder than my feelings towards you, Jones. <laughs> They're gonna fall in love by the end. What do we do now? Let's look for Heimdall. <clears throat> what thief skill becomes available after learning level three and back a lot of memories steel. of the Jastro expedition? That's how you spell steel. Oh, that's also not the answer. <laughs> it brings back a lot of memories of the Jastro expedition. Sophia, I want to talk to you. Yes. I have to look at you. Let's look around. Okay. Sophia. Yes? Hmm. Mind if I look at your necklace? It's an old lost wax casting, early Bronze Age. It looks hollow. Open. I. Look, but don't touch! Oh. Talk to you. 
It's a small diamond-shaped hole. Looks like Onyx. Pokemon? Thanks. Pardon me. Dr. Indiana Jones, I believe, and Madame Sophia Hapgood. This is my dig site now. Go away. <laughs> oh. I thought you were digging up Norse graves in Denmark. I was. Obviously, now I'm not. I, um, we're only like, I don't know, 30 minutes into this. I really want to play Uncharted instead. <laughs> Not feeling very friendly today, are we? I really like the Uncharted series. It helps me think. Doctor, what do you expect to find here? The secret of Hyperborea. That's what the Greeks are Iceland, you know. You know nothing about Uncharted? You've read how they sailed north uh... to a fog shrouded land and how they never set foot upon it. After traveling, it's a cinematic. Mirror fog wouldn't turn them back. Nice afraid of clouds. Clowns. Clowns. <laughs> clowns. Puppycock. You know what actually stopped them, John? I don't know, but maybe Sophia has an idea. Forget it. I'll just tell you. They were stopped by a force field put here by beings not of this earth. Hmm. Mmm, that's fascinating, Doctor. Mmm. Uh, so Uncharted is a cinematic... platformer. It alternates between story sections, shooting sections, and climbing sections. <laughs> uh, but the story, it's like watching a movie, basically. But you're kind of interactive, I guess. But, I mean, the game pushes you in such a direction that it's like... not even really doing anything. <laughs> Most of the time, you're basically just watching a movie, but like the characters Nathan Drake and um, whatever Sully's last name is, Sully, are just really interesting characters. They're pretty funny. I like the dialogue and stuff. Have you ever heard of Plato's Lost Dialogue? Yes, there are rumors about such a book, but I've yet to see it. There are two people you might want to visit. Charles Sternhardt in Tikal, a shady mm. fellow, who claims he translated the whole thing. Mm. And Philippe Costa in the Azores Islands. As a researcher, he's a farce, but he's a sharp tracer. See. Well, why did these beings show up here? I am convinced that these travelers came to Earth to form colonies like Atlantis, using Hyperborea as a space part. Up now <laughs> here, we're close to the ether. It's a perfect landing site. So what's the link between Hyperborea and Atlantis? Right, the Yastro expedition, the one you're about to work on. Recently I saw pieces from it, pieces that are clearly Atlantean. I see. Somebody must have been selling them. Go ahead, blame it all on me. <laughs> We're gonna make out by the end. So you completely discount the supernatural? Completely. If it's supernatural, you went. Talk to Sternhart and Costa. Mm -hmm. What is this thing you're working on? The bronze eel here. Oh, it's a, probably a homing beacon for wayward spaceships. Mm -hmm. See, I have it out of the eyes. What is this eel artifact again? I already told you. It's a, a, an Atlantean food warmer. Mm -hmm. I think. <laughs> so long. Good luck, fellow believer. Uh, anyways, I was going to say, there's almost literally no difference between 
playing Uncharted and watching uh, a long play of Uncharted. And the first game is kind of like... It's a little weak compared to the other ones, but... Uh, it's also really old at this point. Uh, but that series is one of those series that just goes uphill the whole time. <coughs> Big fan of Uncharted. It looks like someone's still living here. Is that guy? I forgot that guy's name. Let's head for the airport. All right, you said I could go talk to... Uh, the researcher guy was like over here? Or... Like a black market guy over here? Right here first. I don't see anything <laughs> special about what it. What are these sound effects? No. He looks like a jungle rodent. He's too fast for me. It's a path leading deeper into the jungle. He looks like a jungle rodent. What the? <laughs> it's a snake. I hate snakes. <laughs> My favorite piece of equipment. That doesn't seem to work. Sweet code and Steve. <laughs> Solving that puzzle from uh, Final Fantasy VII before you fight the Demon's Gate. Doing very good. <laughs> I, like, I'm assuming I have to somehow get this to go over to the anaconda. I. I need something to block the thing. <laughs> right. I need your help. Excuse me. Yes. But what do we do now? We probably should find Sternheart. But I'm not setting foot in that malaria infested hole. Oh. Looks like the end of the road. There's got to be a way through. How do you like the tropics? 
You're the one who's afraid of snakes. Great, thanks for reminding me. I hate snakes. Let's find the airport. I don't think I can do anything here. I like snakes. This is his house? This is it. Mr. Costa? Wait down, I'm coming. Be careful, Indy. Humor him. Trust me. I suppose you're selling something. If it's not a priceless artifact, I don't want it. Selling these fine leather jackets. Fine leather jackets, dang it. I hear you know something about Plato's lost dialogue. Maybe so, maybe no. Who are you? I'm a fellow believer. Is that right? Do you know where Atlantis is? Actually, I'm trying to find out. Hmm. Come closer, boy, and I'll tell you. Okay. You're standing on it. What? The Azores? No one believed me. That hurt. Ah, uh, heck. Nice going, Indy. I could have done better. Yeah, sure. Mr. Costa? Leave me alone! Dang. So much for that. Listen. Yes? Here, you talk to the man. My pleasure. Oh, I'm her now. Hello. Mr. Costa! This better be important. He's a touchy old bird. Watch and learn, Dr. Jones. Well, hello, beautiful. <laughs> I hope my friend didn't pester you too much. He's a friend of yours? Well, no, he didn't pester me that much. He just has to learn to be more tactful. You said it. He's ruder than I am. <laughs> How can I help you? What can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? What do you want to know? Do you have it? Nope. Wait, is this the guy that translated it? I thought he was a uh, traitor. Have you read it? <clears throat> nope. Uh oh, <laughs> I guess he is the traitor. Do you know what's in it? Not exactly. Can you get it for me? Sorry. Do you know where we could find it? Well, now, that depends. I might trade the information for a rare Atlantean artifact, such as a certain necklace I've heard about. Mm -hmm. I'll never trade away my necklace. Well then, if that's how you feel, surprise me. Would you do business with my friend here? Madam, I'll do business with anyone. Thanks for your help. Goodbye for now. At your command, madam. Don't be a stranger now. Interesting character. Mm -hmm. If not your necklace, then what, I wonder? Look, 
let's get out of here. I bet that book in the intro is the book we're looking for. <laughs> Let's find the airport. I'm going for it. Dude. What are we doing here? What do we do now? Let's bid farewell to this ivory tower. What a campus. And you could have been teaching here. Sure, teaching people with minds like razors, sharp and narrow. Hmm. Aren't you coming? I'll just wait by the car. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it says... For sale, 1937 Ford Coupe, like new, 300 bucks. Yo, Nike new. It's a greasy old towel. Uh. It's hot. It's hot. It's too slippery to walk up. Mm-hmm. It's too slippery to walk up. I can't pick that up. Or can you? It's very hot. I don't want to incinerate that. Oh. I don't want to incinerate that. All right, I think that's everything here. Boy's playing Magic Arena. <laughs> yeah, I thought he I thought he already played. Who did I, I watched Demon Small play with somebody once. There was I I watched him play multiple times. Once that I was pretty sure. Could have been Void. Uh, I played Hearthstone for a while, and I also played the Simpsons card game. Uh, I might actually have my cards here under the desk. That's Clash. Blair, what do you think? Meow. Meow. She's like, I was asleep. I was very asleep. <laughs> There are my cards right here. Nope. <laughs> I have this cursed deck. <laughs> I was given these at a um anime convention. No game, no life. Playing cards. They're not in this box, which means they're in the other room. Oh. 
<laughs> uh, I. So one of my really good friends is a um cosplay booth girl. What essentially? And I was going to help her move a bunch of stuff at the booth that she was working at. And the guy was like, hey, you want stuff? And I was like, uh, not really. <laughs> and he just like gave me a whole bunch of random stuff. And those cards were part of it. Alright, this has got to be progress. This screen. Use dirty rag with... I don't think that'll work. Played, I also played the Pokemon card game. How did I get over there? Okay, so it's that one in the middle there. Got it. I make the I make the guy stand in front of that. <laughs> that critter's too far away. You're too far away. Yes. Oh my god. Good old mother nature. <laughs> I can't move it. What? I don't think that'll work. I can't talk to that bird from here. Why not? I can't move it. <laughs> wow, some bridge. <coughs> Hi, Indy. Hi. How did you get over here? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Look around. How did you get over here? While you were off bushwhacking, I found a path. What do we do now? We better find Sternhart. Stop! I'm begging your pardon, you can't go in there. The temple isn't safe. Can I help you with something? Postcards? Replicas of the <laughs> temple? Souvenir mugs? Uh, no thanks, Mr. Charles Sternhardt, PhD, independent mm. income researcher and merchant. What can you tell us about the temple? Glad you are. The locals claim my an Indian thing. Now I ask you, does this look like the work of primitive savages, or does it seem much too civilized? Uh, the Mayans weren't... primitive. Well, what can you tell us about Plato's Lost Dialogue? I'm the one who translated it, I can tell you that. I'd worry you were here to steal my last copy, but someone called Mr. Smith beat you to it. Hmm. 
His name's not Mr. Smith. Oh no! What can you tell us about Mr. Smith? He showed up last week, a tall man with a German accent and a pistol. He could have taken all my souvenirs, but he only wanted the lost dialogue. See. Why aren't we allowed inside? How do I know that you aren't a pair of silly tourists? I only show the temple to reputable scholars. I so happen to be. <laughs> I'm Dr. Indiana Jones. Is that scholarly enough? Indiana? Sounds like the name of one of your states. Or possibly <laughs> a cat. Ooh. Actually, it was the name of a dog. Sophia! I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Uh, the Persepolis. Persepolis! Ah! Too bad, Erdler, that's not the answer. I see. Persepolis? Persepolis! A city of ancient Persia! <laughs> Hullabaloo! A pile of poo! What? Echo! Echo! Is this Waldo? <laughs> I suddenly remembered Waldo. Polly want a cracker? Polly want a cracker? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Never forget Waldo. Persepolis? Persepolis! A city of ancient Persia! Oh. Well, now, let me guess. Hey. Yes? You and the little woman decided to take home that special mug, eh? Eh? I'm hoping to find some evidence of Atlantis here. Evidence is easy. You're surrounded by it. Poop. Now that's hard. <laughs> well, thanks. So does that mean we came to the wrong place? I've pretty much lost hope myself, but old legends and rumors die hard. Dude, I wonder how they'll translate Ricard's name. I think it's Ricard in um, the PSP version. I wonder if it'll, it'll say Ricard. What kind of rumors? Local legend has it that the temple was built by men who are not men. Men who are not men. What are men who are not men? Who knows? I've heard everything from giant men with snakes for tails to giant snakes with men for heads. Naga? You actually believe Atlanteans lived here? After the city sank, this is where they came, I'm sure. I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Bishar. <laughs> the Tetrahedron. The Aeneid. Aeneid! Oh! Too bad, Erdler, but that's not the answer. Hmm. Aeneid? Aeneid? A long poem by Virgil? Ah! Stop! Excuse me, the temple isn't open to the public. Listen. Yes? I'd really like to explore the temple. They had, um, Tell me the name some reason the that reminded me 
They had Lady Ashara in uh, Shadowlands. <laughs> when I saw her, I just started laughing. The Hippocrates. Hippocrates. Oh. Too bad, Oakland. That's not too bad, bad Oakland. <laughs> Hippocrates? Hippocrates! Oh, father of medicine! Stop! Sorry, old boy. Only accredited researchers are allowed in. No, thanks. I don't want it. Hmm. Excuse me. Yes? I'd really like to explore the temple. Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. <laughs> none of these are ever the same thing. Like, not these, all three of these are new. I don't know the title. Plato! <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> You're not serious about this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Title? I'm a I'm a Stop! Sorry, old boy. <laughs> Only a credit researchers are allowed in. Whoa, wait a minute. Excuse me. Yes? About exploring the temple. <laughs> Tell me the name of the lost dialogue of Plato. Is this what it was? The Hermocrates. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Ah! Well now, perhaps I was wrong. You seem to know what you're doing. Walk this way, please. I don't trust this guy, Indy. I know what you mean. I here we are. See what you can that do. word. <laughs> Looks like it could use a nose. A nose. That'll just make a mess. Oh. Doesn't seem to open. Looks like it could use a nose. Engraved symbols of water and life. This one looks different, more deeply etched. I don't think that'll work. I can't move it. Mm. Doesn't seem to open. That'll just make a mess. I can't. Years of tarnish have it all gummed up. Hmm. Hey, I played Hearthstone for a while. Had it on my cell phone. Used to play like a match or two before I would go to sleep. Played as Jaina and Valera. My two favorite WoW characters. Excuse me, Sophia. What's up? Could you talk to Sternhardt and keep him occupied? Okay. 
Dr. Sternhart, I'd like to speak to you. Are we keeping him occupied? I can't pick that up. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. Listen. Yes? I don't, uh, why am I distracting him? So you've never found anything here? No, I'm stumped. Say there. Yes? What was the purpose of this chamber? You have me there. Some sort of crypt? No way. This is probably like a grocery store. It's like a 7-Eleven. A convenience store is the word I was looking for. <laughs> Some music, all right. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> is it Santa? Oh, it's not Santa. <laughs> no, this is the night. For me, old bean. Do you, Chaos? Do you? <laughs> Can be spirit or grimot. Sure, it's not spirit. Let's find the airport. Sea Claw, the second floor of Toy Closet, is just like the second area in Toy Box in Paper Mario, where it's dark and you need the light.
<laughs> whoa, Amy, whoa. Buy everything for XP. Do they know that you don't really get that much? <laughs> There's some special people out there. <clears throat> it's an eel figurine trapped in ice. I occasionally have to tell tanks to remember that we don't need them. <laughs> They have this, so every now and then you get the, the that tank mentality guy that just thinks that the whole world needs him and revolves around them. And that they are the tank, the ultimate character and everything. They're required for all things. Yeah. <laughs> and sometimes you have to tell them, hey, you do realize we don't need you. <laughs> we could do this whole thing without you. In fact, it'd be better if we had nothing but DPS and healers. And uh, if anything, you're slowing us down. <laughs> like... The number of times I've had that conversation. Hello. You again. Must you buy your me? Buy your... Uh... Where did you say those pieces come from? Is this artifact of Atlantis you want? Talk to Sternhart and Costa. Hmm. What is this eel artifact again? I already told you. It's a, a, an Atlantean fish trap. I think. What was that uh, about the lost? Sometimes it's fun also when you play a healer Talk to rescue to the tank. <laughs> when they go to do something. And you're like, oh, no, you don't. So long. Good luck, fellow believer. God. <clears throat> Let's head for the airport. All right, hold on. Let's weigh our knowledge versus options. So there's nothing in Iceland. I couldn't find anything there. This guy won't talk to me, and I need something to trade. And I don't have anything to trade besides, like, coal. Uh, there, I didn't find anything in the few rooms I had access to. I only checked the left side. I don't know that there was anything on the right side. Well, well, well. <laughs> Alright, so... I'm gonna check the internet. I've run out of things that I can think that I can do. Uh, what is this? Indiana Jones... Oops. Indiana Jones... State of... Trivia. What? Oh, there's numpad buttons for... Hold on. The fighting in this game has actual, like, numpad functions. <laughs> Amy, we're all passionate about something. Don't kink shame. 
<laughs> yes. <clears throat> Alright, now the game starts for real. Action buttons. I could have gone through the fire escape. All right, Iceland. Here in Iceland, India is now wearing the proper Indiana Jones clothes. You also have your trustworthy whip with you now. Wow, thank you. Strategy God. All Fancy 13, you have complete missions in order to advance hygiene challenge. Can you put it to you by what? Hmm. The floating thing. <laughs> Definitely not Benavelza. Anybody guess Tysaijin yet? That's not it. Is that a word? It's Final Fantasy word. Have you have you read the name of anything in any Final Fantasy? Is Quetzalcoatl a real word? Quetzalcoatl. Hot three. Oh my god, this is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> uh. I, Amy, I think you missed the point of uh, what I meant by quest total. Even being a real word. Any ideas yet? Minhurum is also a real word. Talk to Sophia. Let's talk. <laughs> I need you to distract this guy. Stay next to me. Could you try and keep Sternheart busy again? <sighs> again. You again. Win bag. <laughs> I've got another. Yes, Nico. Do doctor. it. Well, Chaos, I'm sure if he searched for Shiva, the only, the only words, the only Google search results you would find would be Final Fantasy as well. Good thing that test Sternheart's not around. <laughs> it's better be Final Fantasy. That's not Final Fantasy at all. Excuse me, won't you? Let's see what your friend is up to. The kerosene won't pour out. What? So, you took my lamp, eh? Yes. I hope you know what you're doing. Yeah, did you not know Shiva's a he? Are you just, are you today years old when you learned that? Amy was today years, years old. They discovered that. The kerosene will say a he. Um. Open the lamp. Open. 
it's already open. Oh. Look, the kerosene ate away the tarnish. Remarkable. I can't move it. Wait, it's your opera it's your it's your no, it's the pepper mill crank gun. It's you got this, Claude. I've seen you answer this question before. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't seem to open. What was I doing? I can't move it. Your pool. It's the PCG. Now I got it. <laughs> Marvelous. Ah. <clears throat> uh... It fits perfectly. Now it looks kind of like an elephant. Yeah, no way. Amazing. It won't go any farther. Look at that. <gasps> it is a. Astonishing. It is a tomb. I thought it'd be like a 7 Eleven. The tomb of an Atlantean king. You fix your huge steam delay. With images of land and sea engraved on it. I do believe it's a wealth stone. All right, kick him right in the gut. Goodbye, fellow <laughs> I have the Wait. thing. Oh no, he got away. Oh heck! But what he forgot was the shiny bead. Looks the real like treasure. Or a calcum. I don't think that'll work. Too bad for Sternhardt. He missed the Oracalcum bead. Can I talk to you, Sophia? What's up? Now let's keep looking. Fine. Fine. Say. Yes? Mind if I look at your necklace? I think Nurab Sal is trouble enough already. What? What do you mean? Thanks. It's almost invisible. It won't budge. It won't budge. It won't budge. It won't budge. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it is the tomb of an Atlantean king. It's the primitive image of an elephant. <laughs> it resembles an elephant's trunk. I don't... Dang, shouldn't have read ahead. <laughs> well, I still never would have it would have been 20 minutes before I figured it out to go here. Let's find the airport. 
<laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> too bad. He's frozen solid. A little too dedicated to his work, I guess. How did this happen? How long have we been gone? It looks like a bead would fit in the eel's mouth. So you're saying I should put this bead in the mouth? It fits perfectly. Whoa. Whoa. Look, it Whoa, wait right a right minute. out of the ice. It's a bronze coil. Hmm. Poor Heimdall. What happened? I'll pick up. I can't pick that up. Hmm. Open. It doesn't seem to open. <laughs> Push. I can't move it. <laughs> Whoa. Let's head for the airport. One of these days, somebody's going to answer the question. And then many seconds later, somebody else is going to answer the question. But it's going to register the second person first. Because... <laughs> Laptop, wireless internet issues. I have it, it's, it's on my laptop so that I can cheat. Another Atlantis addled mind. Indy? Yes? I think you better take over. Okay, I'll give it a try. Mm. Mr. Costa? You again? What do you want? Let's talk about a trade. Okay, what you got? Let's buy another jacket. Genuine American bull made bullwhip. I'm offering this mysterious eel figurine. <laughs> now that looks interesting. You've got a deal, mister. Now listen carefully, I don't know exactly where to find it, but... <laughs> The Lost Dialogue of Plato is in the Pierce Collection, got that? I think so, the Pierce Collection. Very good, nice doing business with you. <laughs> they didn't do anything. My job here is done. <laughs> like The Pierce Collection? You know something, Sophia? I believe Barnett College owns the Pierce Collection. <laughs> it's that book that's ready to fall. I'm telling you. Dr. Uberman. Fantastic news. <laughs> Colonel, at last! Wait, I know this voice. See that Herr Jones has kindly provided. What on earth? Isn't it amazing? It's a fake. 
you fool! You come back to show me this, this, this! Prehistoric knickknack? <laughs> yeah, doctor, I believe this knickknack, as you call it, comes from the Never forgive you, Claude. Then we have failed! I see no evidence here of the magical metal plato called Orichalcum! Look here, concealed in the base of this small, shiny bee. And it glitters like fire, exactly as Plato described. It's my guess we found the treasure we seek. I never guess. We must test. My God. <laughs> of uranium without any radioactivity. And those smug American scientists know nothing. That gives me an idea. All thy place will be inside this statue's open mouth. What? <laughs> oh, God. Where did you get that idea from? You saw that? <laughs> what is going on? Think of tanks. Think of airplanes. <laughs> Use your imagination, Colonel. Well, you, you have to go get it. Like the Americans. Think of bombs. Oh. <laughs> I thought I was going to say, like, an albatross or something. So why are you dragging me in here? This is Caswell Hall. We store all our junk here. You think Plato's Lost Dialogue <laughs> is junk? Mm. I used to. Now I'm not so sure. Well, when you figure it out... I'll meet you in your office. My office outside? Hey, the stairs aren't closed anymore. Didn't I fall through the floor here? Maybe it was up here. Absolutely condensed. Oh, it was over. It was under here. I can't pick that up. What? I can't move it. I can't move it. I believe it's part of the old Pierce collection. Book that's ready to fall. It's my favorite piece of equipment. It could be useful in the right spot. I don't think that'll work. It's too slippery to walk up. Shoot or <laughs> screw. I don't think that'll work. It's a screw. Early 20th century, I believe. It's screwed in too tight. <laughs> The 
fine example of braided hemp. <laughs> Boethia? It's from the Shamit collection. Very sharp. label says unidentified pot shirts. It doesn't seem to open. I have an idea. Ouch! The screw came out, but that hurt. I lost some HP. The back of the bookcase is too securely fastened to open. Oh my god. I can't unless I find a way to protect my hands. Um, Amy? No. No, it's like 12. What do you say? I can't send it. I can't unless I find a way to protect my hands. It's unscrewed. <laughs> the back of the bookcase is too securely fastened to open. How many screws are there? Oh my god. <laughs> it's amazing chaos. It's unscrewed. It's unscrewed. I can't pick that up. The back of the bookcase is too securely fastened. Oh my god, open. how many screws are there? It's unscrewed. Oh, that's not... <laughs> that's not... Somebody did fan art of that. There's some... There's fan art of that out there. <laughs> Here it is, the lost dialogue of Plato. Oh my god, I found it. Now at last I have Plato's Lost Dialogue translated entirely. See? Uh, can somebody memorize all this for me because... <laughs> Read any of this? Two colonies. Oops. I was reading that. Moonstone. Cannon fire. Never mind. Question mark. Name of Summer's Beach. Oh, yeah, that one. <laughs> oh. I just need somebody to memorize this. King Wealthy. Mortal Man. <laughs> I 
I don't remember that at all. Wait, now I have this book. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I have this book. Maybe something shows up when I talk to the girl. I guess I'm supposed to go to my office. Where do you think you're going? I'm not sure. <laughs> Is that the lost dialogue of Plato in your hands? Yeah. Let's go inside and take a look. Okay, Jones, let's have a look at that book. Good thing, Nico. Take I mean, not Nico. Sassy Nico. Sassy or Nico? Nico's already pretty sassy. I don't see how this will help us find Atlantis. Isn't it obvious? Didn't you notice Plato's tenfold numbering error? So he got his dates mixed up. Why is that so important? Plato's error means distances could also be wrong. So what if they are? I thought the errors were not. Um, I thought they were clues. <laughs> the fact that they are errors. If Plato is right, Atlantis is in the Mediterranean. You mean 300 miles from Greece instead of 3,000? Yes, the cradle of civilization. You could be right. He once told me he came from the middle of the world. That's what Mediterranean means. Relatively recent? I know they could skip, um... They could clip into some of the walls, but only, like, I only ever heard of one of them. Of course, I haven't really kept up with it at all. You could clip into, like, the edges in the world map, but I don't know. Watts is not IOL based. Enough with your fantasies. I'm talking facts. Wait, quiet. <laughs> I think I'm getting something. <laughs> so, Mr. Sal, what's the secret? Be patient, he's lost. But I think it's I know how to guide him home. Among the artifacts that Kerner stole was a small stone disc with a hole in it. Ah, uh, now the world thing? I'm sure it was one of the three stones mentioned in Plato's book. And I didn't find it. I bought it from Omar al-Jabbar in Algiers. Algiers? Why should he help us? Or was it Alain Trottier in Monte Carlo? Oh, man. Either way, Algiers or Monte Carlo. This much I do know. You'll need all three stones if you want to find Atlantis. How will I find Trottier and Al Jabbar? Not so fast. Not so fast. First, I'm going to tell you a fortune. Oh, God. Look into my eyes. Deep into my eyes. <laughs> For Pete's sake, I'm not going to hurt you. Just gonna catch you. Don't do it. Now hold still. You are a remarkable man, Dr. Jones. <laughs> you possess great strength of character. You are resourceful. Someone very close to you will die. Head. I foresee combat and violence along your path to Atlantis. A path too dangerous for me. Ah, uh, so what you're saying is... Um... <laughs> you just don't want to be here. I'd rather think my way through. Are you absolutely sure? No. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Um... <clears throat>
Uh, let's go. All right. Again. This is an actual <laughs> path split. Is trying to guide you. He respects your physical skills. Do we? Uh, this. So this is a path split. We can either take Sophie with us. Um. Fight our way with fists. Or think our way through with logic. Do we want to go with... I feel like we get more out of it. Yeah, I was gonna say. I feel like we get more out of it if we go with her. Like, by herself... I, I mean, she's kind of dumb, but like at the same time... There's like uh, a dialogue between the two. Kind of thing. You think he ditched her? I, I mean I don't like I don't like the character so I don't mind ditching her but I also feel like we'll get more out of the sequences if we have her there. Uh I'd rather tackle this together with you. <laughs> Are you absolutely sure? Overruled. <laughs> yes. Yes, I'm sure. We should team up. Okay, if that's how you feel, we'll go together. What was even the question? <laughs> oh, Bioshock. Let's get going. We can still catch tonight's clipper. You make it sound so romantic. <laughs> um, also, I realize I've literally never saved. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, where are we going? My dad lives in Algiers. Let's go to Algiers. We can visit him. I have some sand from Algiers right here. This is from the desert. In Algiers. <clears throat> I don't know why I have that. But I do. Sophia. No, I wanted to talk what? to the dagger. Ah, Algeria. Hmm. Hmm. Never mind. Okay. Hello there. Ah, a prosperous America. You ever hear of Atlantis, old man? Atlantis. Hmm. I know this voice. No. From um, Broken Sword. A mason jar, some sand and seawater. From Myrtle Beach. <laughs> yeah, mine's a desert rose from Algiers. My dad gave it to me for whatever reason. You know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? Omar is one of my best customers. Mm. His shop is on the other side of the marketplace. What are you doing here on the streets? I'm a beggar, Effendi. It is my job to be here. Today I'm offering a discount. Give me food <laughs> and I'll give you a free gift. Free gift? Now let me get back to work, please. Excuse me. Yes. Nice knives. Nice knives. Yes, they were a gift from my father, the greatest knife thrower in North Africa. I'm trying to follow his example. Mm. But alas, no one will volunteer to be my assistant since the accident. I'll do it. It's a Lucas Arts game. Do you know where to find Omar Al Jabbar? He has a shop nearby, behind the marketplace. Sorry to bother you. You gotta start small and then think big. I just wish the volunteer would Baby step steps. forward to assist me. I'll do it. I wanna go. Oh my god. Hey, 
excuse me. Yes? I'd make a wonderful assistant. It's refreshing to see such spirit, but my assistant must be a woman. Show business, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. What? Mommy Wamba. <laughs> I think you should volunteer to help the knife thrower. No, you don't, Jones. It's a Lucas Arts game. You'll be fine. <laughs> Please, it's perfectly safe. Right, perfectly safe. Take a good look at his dexterity. Well, okay. I don't know. Those knives look dangerous. So do you. Sophia. What? Come on, assist the guy, will you? Nope, nope, nope. Oh, I get it. You're chicken. Well, cock a doodle doo. I'll never volunteer. So where's your sense of adventure? Either I hear a dog, or something in the game is making a dog noise. Excuse me. What? The man's desperate. He needs your help. Is this your idea of a friendly nudge? Do it and I'll let you wear my hat. I'll let you wear my fist if you keep this up. <laughs> we won't get anywhere until you volunteer. Stop trying to push me into this. Uh -huh. <laughs> volunteer. Never. So where's your sense of adventure? Listen. What? What do we do now? Let's find Omar Al Jabbar. We won't get anywhere until you volunteer. Stop trying to push me into this. Pretty please? What's with you anyway? You gotta see this genius in action. Really? I don't know. Those knives look dangerous. Oof. Look here, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. A volunteer. But... Now, now, my dear. There's nothing to be afraid of. But... <laughs> Just walk over to the board now. <laughs> Ta-da! Thank you for your brave assistance, my dear. Allow me to express my gratitude by giving you this souvenir knife. Yo, thank you. Here, take this knife before <laughs> I use it on you. Use? Knife? What seems knife? Uh, wait a minute. It's a sharp bloodstained knife. Now whose knife whose blood is that? Uh oh. I see. Excuse me. What can I do for you, baby? Are you Mr. Omar Al Jabbar? I am but a humble shopkeeper. My name is unimportant. Mm -hmm. Do you ever deal in antiquities from Atlantis? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. Many a fool dreams of the lost kingdom. How may I know your intentions are serious? I don't think I've got anything that would convince you. Not unless you possess one of the stone keys that open the gates of Atlantis. Mm. Should 
I could remember. I think I could remember the story to Destiny. We'd better not go out there. We'll just get lost. Hmm. Well, here we are. I see. What makes you think we'll find Trottier here? All his letters mention how much he likes strolling under the bright lights. Uh, there's bright lights everywhere. <laughs> but what does Trottier look like? How should I know? I've never actually met him. We did all our business by mail. Suppose Trottier shows up. What then? <laughs> Bring him up to my room. This plan sounds kind of harebrained to me. Don't worry, it'll work. He used to have one of the three stones. If we can coax him into a seance, he might let us have it. Uh, we're doing what now? <laughs> if Mr. Sal helps out, of course. I'll go get ready. Uh. Excuse me. Hello? Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? I'm sorry, I can't. Excuse me. <laughs> Just keep talking. Can you tell me where to find Monsieur Trottier? Uh, possibly, who wants to know? I'm Dr. Indiana Jones of Barnett College. Jones, 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 I believe I've heard of you. Meow? Yes, of course, the famous archaeologist. Wait, did we get it? Did we get the guy? Second try? Well, that's me. And I am Trottier. <laughs> Amateur scholar, part-time poet, professional dreamer. There, come back. My horoscope told me to find a new path through life tonight. And here I bump into you. Ah, uh, what good fortune. I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. I fear my wife will kill me unless I forget my crazy dreams. To persuade me to ignore her wishes, answer me this. When were the many freaks of nature created? The what? When night ruled the great city. Oh, no, 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 you're just guessing. Yes. Uh, bonsoir, monsieur. Wait, no, come back. Monsieur Trottier. Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? Madame Sophia is in town and wants to meet you. Really? The great psychic? Oh, no wonder I felt restless tonight. Still, one must be cautious. I fear my wife will kill me unless I forget my crazy dreams. No, to persuade me to ignore her wishes, answer me this. Turn to page Why 14. Did the Atlanteans built their huge colossus. Uh... Challenge nature itself. Oh no no no! You're just guessing. Dang it! Uh, bonsoir, monsieur. Nobody memorized the book.
All right then. Monsieur Trottier? Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. I fear my wife will kill me unless I forget my crazy dreams to persuade me to ignore her wishes. <laughs> I mean, awesome is this? this is like a million years old. That was a Plato's great error. Nope. An error of geometry. Heck, dude. monsieur. <laughs> Never talk to the guy. Monsieur Trottier? Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? What can you tell me about Atlantis? Oh, that depends. I fear my wife will kill me unless I forget my crazy dreams to persuade me to ignore her wishes. Answer me this. Of what material did the Atlantean carve the vices to search for Oricalco? What? Oricalcum itself. Oh, no, no, no. You're what? Guessing. Bonsoir, monsieur. I've memorized the thing. No, talk to... Talk, Monsieur Trottier. Talk to him. Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? I've heard you deal in Atlantean artifacts. Aha, my reputation precedes me. I fear my wife will kill me unless <coughs> I forget my crazy dreams to persuade me to ignore her wishes. Answer me this. When were the many freaks of nature created? I think it's when darkness concealed the tall horns. When darkness concealed the tall horns. Oh, no, 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 you're Dang. just guessing. I'm gonna look up the answer. <laughs> uh... Hey, right, come back. Over here, Monsieur Trottier. Back again, Dr. Jones. What now? The answers aren't here. <laughs> I have to figure it out myself. What can you tell me about Atlantis? Oh, that depends. I fear my wife will kill me unless I forget my crazy dreams to persuade me to ignore <coughs> her wishes. Answer me this. Why did the Atlanteans build their huge colossus? To make themselves like gods. Yes, excellent. Obviously, you know Plato's lost dialogue well. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> Madam Sophia would like to trade her wisdom for yours. I'm sure she would. And steal my secrets. What, what kind of idiot you take me for? Heck. Any luck, Indiana? Where's Trottier? I've tried, and that fool won't come up here. Hmm, I hadn't thought about that possibility. Just drop Nurab Sal's name. Nurab Sal? Wait, hold on. Okay, clear. Yeah. Did you throw up all over the floor? Yeah. Listen. What now? Never mind. Well then, get back out there. Getting back, I'm going. 
All right, here we go again. Just a moment, monsieur. Yes? I just want you to know I work for Nurab Sal. What? Did you say Nurab Sal? Well, perhaps <coughs> you're not the buffoon I took you for. Now, excuse me while I consider this. What? Just a moment, monsieur. Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Follow me and Madame Sophia will read your fortune. Oh, this is a big step. I'm not sure. Come on, take a chance. She's right here in the hotel. I don't need this woman's cancer. I don't need anything, but I'm curious. So, I'll do. Please, lead the way. Excellent. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. I don't get a chair. Is he here? Okay, Trottier is all yours. <clears throat> oh, Monsieur Trottier, I am so pleased to meet such an expert antiquarian at long last. Madame flatters me. It is I who am pleased to meet you. Now then. will help focus my thoughts. I wonder if your concentration is so weak, perhaps I've picked the wrong psychic. I'm afraid Nurab Sal is temperamental tonight. Uh, too bad. Another time, perhaps. No. <laughs> Au revoir. No, come back. Heck. Maybe we should have done it your way. I'll say. I'm taking control of this team. This, uh... Some old point-and-click adventure game, alright? Feel that? Just a moment, monsieur. Old point and click adventure with this. Again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Where you do the same thing, but it takes like 10 minutes to go back and do the same thing. <laughs> what do you say we get in touch with the spirits? Uh, begging your pardon, I refuse to be patronized by arrogant fools like you. Wow! Wait, now come back. Over here, Monsieur Trottier. Yes? Nurab Sal sent me, remember? Nurab Sal? Oh, eh bien. Allow me some time to cool my anger. When I come back. Monsieur Trottier. <laughs> well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Madame Sophia wants another seance. Well, <laughs> <laughs> she is a charming woman. <laughs> so, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Round two. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. <laughs> I like how the, the graphics for them, like, moving down into their ch chair. Is he here? Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. All right, then. Give me a minute while I set him up. Thank you for giving me another <laughs> opportunity, Monsieur. Now then, I need a token of power to set the mood. Well, I have the stone key. I truly believe it is from the lost city. Very good. Very good indeed. Now we can begin. Let a smile be your umbrella. It's the main power switch for the room. Delight, 
lights. What happened to the lights? Uh, I think Narab Thal is trying to signal us. Must he be wandering around? It makes me nervous. Dr. Jones, if you please. Does he have to prowl so much? Ah. Uh. Really, Dr. Jones? Time again. Hmm. Is he trying to scare me by wearing that sheet on his head? Jones! <laughs> no tempest was made. Well, madame, I have seen enough. It was entertaining despite the interruptions. Bye. Au revoir. Uh. <laughs> Turn the lights on, will you please? <sighs> the plan worked perfectly. You lost him again, Indy. Great move, Jones. <laughs> It seemed like a good idea at the time. Stop acting like it's Halloween. On second thought, maybe you should find a way to spruce up that costume. Your ghost act almost worked. Uh. I don't think that'll work. It's a flashlight. I don't need it now. Now is not the time. I don't think that'll work. I have no idea. You think you're so clever. Yes. Gee, it's tough to make a living as a psychic. It helps to avoid cheap tricks. <laughs> hey. Now yeah, it's, uh, the boss from All Fantasy Tactics. It's spelled weird. What do we do now? Not, not my question. <laughs> it's not my Quacklin. It's already open. Uh, go outside. Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones. Jones. Calling Dr. Jones. Alright, Aqua Song for the day. Excuse me. A uh, stranger. Sorry to bother you. Wait, no! Leave me alone. Just a moment, monsieur. Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Madame Sophia wants another seance. Well, <laughs> she's a charming woman. Uh -huh. So, I'll do it. Please, lead the way. Have a seat, Monsieur Trottier. Is he here? Are you sure this is going to work? Just you watch. Let's begin again, <laughs> shall we? With a token of power for Nurab Sal. Here's the stone key. Very well, let's begin. Uh, one moment, madame. We've never met before. You could be an imposter. What? If you really have psychic powers, tell me. Why was I taking a stroll when I first met Dr. Jones? Uh, 
to read my mind or read Dr. Jones minds if you prefer. I told him everything. I don't remember. Hmm, let me think. Your horoscope. Your horoscope told you to. Well, well, well. Fascinating. What is my greatest fear? Clowns. You fear your wife. Very inspirational. <laughs> what is my greatest need? You need nothing. Hmm, you don't say. Now then, how many fingers am I holding up behind my back? <laughs> what? what kind of stupid question is that? The answer depends on pure chance. Not if you're truly psychic. Don't worry, I won't cheat. How many fingers? Well, all I can do is try a wild guess. Uh, huh. Five. Five. I am very disappointed, madame. You have failed my little test. Please excuse me for just a moment. Of course, madame. Uh, can I talk to you, Dr. Jones? If you insist, go on back to the seance and I'll think of something. It better be good. I'm sorry. Now, where were we? We must find my spirit guide. Leave no stone unturned. The lights, what happened to the lights? Uh, I think Narab Sal is trying to signal us. Does he have to wave that flashlight around? Oh, it's very unnerving. Do you mind, Dr. Jones? <laughs> Sorry. Try my best out here. Must he be wandering around? It makes me nervous. Dr. Jones, if you please. I don't think that'll work. Oh, the lights are on again. Nurab Sal works his ways in shrouded <laughs> mystery. <laughs> Sense the presence of Nurab Sal nearby. Now is not the time. Look into my eyes. The lights, what happened to the lights? Uh, I think Nurab Sal is trying to signal us. Is he trying to scare me by wearing that sheet on his head? Really, Dr. Jones? Dang, what am I missing? That sheet looks ridiculous. <laughs> Jones! I'm trying my best. Well, madame, I've seen enough. God. <laughs> it was entertaining, despite the interruptions. Alright, what's this say? Au revoir. Turn the lights on, will you please? <sighs> you lost him again, Indy. Great move, Jones. Oh. Oh. This isn't working. Let's move on. Okay. We could talk to Omar again. Get a cab and I'll join you. Oh. I better put the flashlight back. 
I'd better put the sheet back. Lithia 1. Did I play it? That was the one I played. Funny. Looks like that ghost we saw in your study. That ghost was Nuram Sal. Um, I'll just take this. Wait one minute. So you think you can just stroll out of here without pay? Yes. Well, how much does it cost? That mask? On second thought, you can have it. It's been <laughs> giving away all my best customers. Thank you. Just a moment, monsieur. Well, hello again, Dr. Jones. How can I help you? Madame Sophia wants another seance. Well, <laughs> she is a charming woman. <laughs> so kind. Uh, please, lead the way. We were so close. Seen, monsieur Trottier. All we needed was the mask. Is he here? Keep him busy. I'm going to try something. All right, then. Give me a minute while I set him up. Thank you for giving me another opportunity, monsieur. Do you still have the key? Yes, here it is. Let's move on. I think I'm getting something. Blah, 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 blah. The lights, blah, blah, blah. what happened blah, blah. to the lights? Uh, I think Narab Sal is trying to signal us. This thing is spooky. I feel the presence of Nurab Sal approaching us. <laughs> well done, Indy. <laughs> Whatever works. Got him. <laughs> Looks like we have one of the three stones. Let's hope we can find a way to use it. I bet Trottier got it from Al Jabbar. Those two do a lot of business together. Let's head for North Africa and find out if I'm right. Of course. Fine. I'll hail a cab while you get changed. I better put the flashlight back. Oh. I better put the sheet back. I forgot it. Um, what your review of Quest 64 was, Claude. <laughs> Do you have a good, anything good to say about Quest 64? Was it a life-changing experience? Did you watch the speedrun?
Oh, I see. Excuse me. I think this may interest you. Ah. It is said that three stone discs were needed to open the gates of Atlantis. This looks like one of them. A sunstone, if I'm not mistaken. Dr. Jones. How do you know who I am? Yeah, how? You know everything. My dear Miss Hapgood, when you're Omar Al Jabbar, <laughs> you know these things. Um. I have. Then you are Al Jabbar. Yes, a lowly dealer in oddities and trivia. I forgot when I played Carmen San Diego. I don't remember it being during trivia though. Let's get out of business. But it might have been. What do you know about Atlantis? The very first trivia. Yes, tell us. Well, I do remember playing OG Carmen San Diego at some point on stream though. I'm convinced it contains the remains of an Atlantean outpost. Whose dig is it? Europeans, <laughs> Germans. I you can play it in a Windows like uh, Windows. You can play it in an um, in internet browser or whatever. Where is it exactly? I'm That's how I played sure. it. I've learned enough to make a rough map, but it's very rough. <laughs> the problem <clears throat> is the desert is no place for a civilized man like myself. We'll go. We will? <laughs> of course. I admire your courage, but you'll never survive the desert. Just like in um, Uncharted 3. Give up while you still have your lives ahead of you. No way, man. Never give up. <laughs> okay, we give up. Bye. <laughs> okay, we give up. A very sensible decision, Dr. Jones. Let Atlantis lie undisturbed, wherever it may be. That was it. <laughs> the end. I was hoping for an ending. Excuse me again. Change your mind? Yes, we're not giving up after all. Mm -hmm. The one where she gets the, uh, the wire tool thing. Come, I'll lend you my map. And a couple of sturdy camels. Oh, nice, I got a map. <laughs> A few hours later. All right, we did it. You've returned alive. Tell me, how was your trip? Marvelous, but we didn't find anything. The desert guards its secrets, Doctor. By the way, do you still have that mask I gave you? Yeah, I've got it right here. Why do you ask? I'd like to trade you for it. What? What will you give me? That depends. Do you have anything in mind? Make an offer. Well, how about this baseball? It's been autographed by your country's Luke Gehrig. Mm. No thanks. Can I see something else? How about this voodoo doll? It was carved from trees in the Black Forest. Hmm. No thanks. Can I see something else? How about this little red wagon? It once belonged to Rudyard Kipling. Hmm. I don't think that's it. What else can you show me? How about 
this yellow yo-yo? It was uh. hand-painted by an Arabian prince. Uh. <laughs> I'll just keep what I've got. As you wish, sir. Alright, question 93. Which means I should definitely stop here. Or I will 100% forget. What's going on? Trivia 2. What the capital?